Holy macro, that was a huge jump. Nice. Nice, another big air, backflip, sky wheelie. So we can get some donuts. Man, the camera is so cool. I am so digging this. They did not have a camera like this in Steel Titans 2. Wow. <laughs> it does make it a little difficult to do any kind of tricks, though. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Two Cam Plays Steel Titans One. We're continuing with our career mode. We, uh, I'm switching out my truck. I'm not going to do Grave Digger Fire. I'm going to do Grave Digger Ice. Nice. So I, I did have enough tokens left over to be able to upgrade Grave Digger Ice. Uh, early start, just a little bit. But we're continuing with our career mode. These are still the outdoor races. And obviously I had enough to upgrade Gravedigger Ice to uh, be able to get way out ahead of the AI. Pretty darn quick here. Ah, uh, over the rock. No, <laughs> come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, come on. But I do like uh, Gravedigger Ice here. And yeah, I'm kind of doing the thing, the uh, fire and ice theme, going through all the different fire and ice trucks. That's what's nice about Steel Titans 1. You got these, uh, steel, uh, these uh, fire and ice trucks that are so cool. All right, let's see. We're staying ahead of our competition. This is the career mode. We're continuing on with career mode. Ooh, smash right through the railroad tracks and it flipped me over. Ah, yeah. So no amount of upgrades is going to be able to compensate for my lack of being able to drive. <laughs> and here's the AI all lined up in a nice, neat little row. It's one thing that's weird about the AI in this game is that they uh, they follow a track pretty close. I love the ice trails coming out from behind Gravedigger Ice. Now, Gravedigger Fire and Ice were both, of course, real life trucks. Of course, they didn't have the blue tires. That is a Spidmaster toy deal. Oh, yes, I did. I made it first place. <laughs> oh my gosh, then I went flying. Awesome. I came in first. Oh, and look at that. I get. I did get a first place bonus. My suspension has gone up an extra level. That's nice. But I didn't finish fast enough to get all the bonus points, but that's okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I did get an extra um, suspension bonus. Uh, I've only got one more bonus left to go, and then I'll have a fully maxed out for my level truck. You know, I really do like the maps in uh, Steel Titans 1. I like the rainbow there. I like the vegetation they got going on. The, the maps look really cool. It looks like you're in uh, Southern Utah or something. They did a good job with the maps in Steel Titans 1. Not that they didn't do a bad job in Steel Titans 2. I just, I don't know. I think there's a little bit more variety. Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. Perfect start. All right. Let's see. Here we go. So we are an amateur league, which means, you know, the races are, are somewhat easy because I'm not quite an amateur. My trucks are somewhat limited. Chocolate Drive uh, was talking to me, which, by the way, if you haven't checked out the Chocolate Drive's YouTube channel, please go check out his channel. He's got a lot of great content. Monster Jam Steel Titans 1, Steel Titans 2, and a lot of diecast content, a lot of Monster Jam races. I think his next race is coming up soon. And I get to participate. I participate in every one of his races. I even won one or two. <laughs> but anyway, he was talking, telling me, give me some tips on how to level up my truck. I don't necessarily need to level up my truck just yet because I am still in the amateur league. I think after I graduate from these outdoor races, then I move up to the beginner league after the amateur league. Whee! Oh, <laughs> hit the tree. Come on. Here we go. Oh, no. That sent me way back. There we go. Oh, whew. okay. I feel better now. <laughs> I'm back on the track. But anyway, yeah, uh, he gave me a few tips on how to level up my truck so that I can prepare once I unlock a few more of those. Um, no, a few more of these uh, upgrades that I can go up to upgrade levels because I'm stuck now with only just two upgrade levels for right now. Dude, where'd that rock come from? Oh, I didn't even see it. Come on, come on, get up. Oh, come on, and no boosts either? 
What? What is that? No, and that's the last truck, uh, the last checkpoint. The rock came out of nowhere and totally ruined my race. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Man, sixth place, but I still got a bunch of uh, points, even though I got in sixth place. Ugh, that's just a bummer. All right, here we go. Gecko Flats Airfield. I think we only have a couple more races to go. I wish they would show you what your progress is. In the meantime, though, do me a huge favor. Smash that like button. It really does help get these videos out to more people. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job, that you want to see more Monster Jam Steel Titans action. All right, so yeah, this is the uh, the rhythm race. Three, two, one, go. Ah, good start. Not a, not a great start, but it eh, eh, works. Anyway, yeah, so this is the rhythm race, but I think this is the entire track, and I think I might actually do the whole track twice, which is crazy because this is a really long track. I was gonna better buckle in for the long haul here because we're gonna be at this for a while. Especially since, you know, we're on the amateur league and we don't have really have a choice as to the difficulty right now. And so I'm already way out ahead of everybody else. Get this first turn, let's see. Yeah, way, way out ahead of everybody else. So let's see, what's going on in the Monster Jam world? So World Finals 22 is coming up here really, really soon. This is uh, mid-June right now as of recording, and uh, I think it's uh, early July. I want to do a live stream where we watch, like a watch party, watching World Finals 21, or 22, rather. I think that would be really fun. Uh, a lot of the track designs are coming out. The track is looking pretty hot. And uh, well, they have a nine-truck jump. It's going to be crazy, something like that, something insane. I don't think any of the Marvel trucks are going to be debuting at uh, at World Finals 22, which is kind of a bummer. I think they're all overseas right now. What's this? It looks like the finish line coming up already. No, this can't be the finish line. Oh, no, this is like this is like the halfway. I got to do another lap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so far out ahead of everybody. I think like the only way that I'm going to lose is if I totally biff, <laughs> which I guess it's conceivable. It could happen. But I mean, holy cow, I'm so far ahead. There's a, there. We'll see. When we come around this first corner, then we'll see where, where everybody's at. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even see them. <laughs> I'm coming back up the other way. There they are. Wow. Yeah. I think they, they should have planned this race out a little bit better. This is such a long race. Okay, coming up on the finish line finally. I think I'm like two legs of the race ahead of everybody else. I'm definitely going to get first place. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, jeez. So it does look like I've got one more race here in the uh, the outdoor series. Titans Grove. It's a circuit race. I do remember this track. This is a fun track. But it's long. I do remember how long it is. Here we go, three, two, one, and go! Early start, oh man! It's it's weird not having any boosts on the, the outdoor rat map here. It's also weird not having a mini map to be able to see where I'm going or where anybody else is at. All I have is this little compass at the top there. So one game I played over the weekend that was kind of fun, it's called House Flipper 2, it's a demo. I think I'll uh, record a quick episode on it and, and post it up on the channel. It's nothing to do with Monster Jam, nothing to do with Monster Trucks. It probably is not going to do very well on the channel, but I'll post it up anyway. It was nice and relaxing. All you do is you, you, you get into a house. So I played the original House Flipper. What it is, you buy a house. And it's usually trashed, right? The house is, uh, you know, falling apart or there's something wrong with it. And then you go in there and you clean up all the trash. You paint over the walls. You fix up any holes in the walls. And then you, uh, you kind of fix it up and then you resell it for a profit. Just like what house flippers do, right? And uh, it was so much fun. It was kind of kind of slow and relaxing kind of like um what is that game uh pressure washer simulator i want to play that one too but you know it's it's just 
it's nice to kind of take a, a step back and relax for a little bit sometimes. Kind of chill, chill and vibe for a little while. That was a lot of fun. I might have one of these days where it's just a vibe night, maybe like Thursday or Friday, where it's just kind of like come and chill and vibe and play, play some sort of a simulator game with me. I enjoy that kind of a break. Not that, uh, not that I don't enjoy playing monster trucks. I do. And it's fun to get that adrenaline going, but you know, I also enjoy a nice quiet vibe every now and then. All right. I'm coming up on the finish line here. Oh, I got a broken, a broken wheel. How did I get a broken wheel? That's interesting. I must have just driven it a little too hard, I guess. That was a quick enough fix, though. I've been driving for a long time. Coming up on the finish line, I am still way out ahead in first place. Did not have a problem whatsoever. I'm so glad to, or I'm going to be so glad to be out of amateur league here. Whee! All right, indeed, that was the last race in the outdoor series. I scored first place overall. Woohoo! And that opened up Northern Nightmare. Nice. It opened up a new section of the map, and now I can go into Rookie League, and I got a 10,000 bonus reward, bonus token reward. Nice. Oh, here we go. The next section of the map is opening up, opening up for me. And that opened up into this section here. So what is this big red beacon over this way? Oh, I think I know what this is. Whee! Yeah, it's El Toro Loco's challenge. Hey, El Toro Loco. <laughs> so like I was saying earlier, uh, Chocolate Drive was telling me that this is uh, these challenge maps are the best way to get um, tokens. Like you just kind of do these challenges over and over again and you get a lot of tokens this way. So let's do an El Toro Loco challenge. This is Hairpin Canyon Waypoint map. I'm assuming that I'm going to be doing this on the amateur challenge difficulty level. Oh, and there's... Uh, there's three El Toro Locos there. That's everything except for gold, I think. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I should have counted a little bit faster. I really need to get my uh, my timing down right on those. Whoa, that's a big jump. Here we go. Into waypoint number one. Come around this way. Let's see, there's waypoint number two over here. Oh, jeez. Follow right along the train station here, or the train tracks. Oh! <laughs> Dude. Dude. All right. Oh, there's... There it is over that way. I think I'm going to miss it, aren't I? There we go. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. We're following along the railroad tracks. We're just a little slow. It's OK. It's OK. And I needed to go that way. <laughs> I'm going to fail pretty miserably, I think. But that's all right. We'll just keep doing it and getting more points. I'm kind of digging this uh, camera. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Mm. I'm so not used to Steel Titans one. Anyway, yes, I'm kind of digging this this camera. It's kind of a trail cam, but uh, it's a little disorienting. <laughs> but I'm digging it. It's kind of a stylistic. Nice. Yeah, I'm failing. I'm failing, but that's OK. I'll get this. I'll get this. I'll just have to do it again. If at first you don't succeed. This is the last one over this way, and I'm sure everybody's already passed it. Oh, the cam, the trail cam is. Oh, jeez, I wrapped myself around that tree. <laughs> this trailing camera is a, a little disorienting, but I'll, I'll get it figured out because I, I like it. It's kind of cinematic. Oof. 
provides a nice view as I crash into the trees. All right, so in Steel Titans 2, I always like to finish off with an outdoor race. I think this time I'm going to always want to finish off with an indoor arena, a, 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 a freestyle event. So here is a Gravedigger Ice. We're going to do a freestyle here in Anaheim. And Anaheim in this game is green. Anaheim in the other game is red. Ah, there we go. Holy mackerel, that was a huge jump. <laughs> nice. Nice, another big air, backflip, sky wheelie. So we can get some donuts. Man, the camera is so cool. I am so digging this. They did not have a camera like this in Steel Titans 2. Wow. <laughs> it does make it a little difficult to do any kind of tricks, though. <laughs> Let's see if I can back up. No, I cannot. There's a nice little uh, wheelie there, though. Hello. Come on. There we go. What, what, what are you doing? What What are you doing? Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That was quite the power out. There's a sky wheelie. Nice. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, sure. That was a bicycle. Why not? Uh, I'm back on my back. Holy mackerel. I mean, this is like a whole new added le le level of challenge here. With the camera and then this particular game. There we go. I got it. Okay. Let's get a backflip off the backflip container. Here we go. Nice, got the beacon, and there's the backflip. We'll come around this way. We'll get a nice big air. Ah, I missed my uh, my combo meter went down. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. <laughs> Second place. No, and that's it. It's all over. <laughs> we. Yeah, this camera is like a, a drone cam. You know, it's like the drone is following after me. I kind of dig it, though. I, I don't know. It's 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 difficult to play like this, but it's fun. We. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's totally like a drone. Whoa. Big air. <laughs> All right, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for No, I collected it. Oh, bomber. That's all right. That's all right. We got one. It was inevitable, right? Oh, oh man. Now I'm, I'm really down and disappointed on that because I was going to collect them all at the same time. Holy mackerel. That was a huge jump. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later. Holy mackerel is such big air. <laughs>